Thanks. BFIT Nation, welcome back to our Motivational Monday, our BFIT Live Exchange Programmed Workout Team. If you're new to the program, welcome in, get settled in. This is a chance for us to focus on lifting some weight, progressing with our strength and our abilities to move our bodies as best we can. Again, if you're new to the channel, drop us a note in the comments below and our Facebook channel right here. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know how you are doing today. Encourage ourselves, encourage each other, encourage our BFIT Live, our BFIT community team. Uh, so with that, um, I'd like to welcome my guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good, Roy. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Hey, can I point out real quick, we're both rocking some Air Force Blue today. I, you know what? Yes, yes you can. Uh, we got the memo today, so we're both wearing blue. So uh, if you're wearing blue, let us know that you're team blue today with our Blue Monday. Blue Monday. Okay. Hit that song. Uh, so uh, with that team, uh, welcome in. We're excited because we have a great resistance-based training workout for you today, team. Okay, so we're really focusing on dialing in our form. Uh, for specific muscle groups that we're going to target for today. Full body, right? We're doing, uh, we're, hit, we're targeting shoulders, triceps, uh, some core activation, lower body movements. Again, this is a really tight uh, programmed workout. So we're looking at condensing our timing and our structure uh, to get the most out of our workout. So we're going to target multiple muscle groups at a time. So with that, let's go over our workout for today, team. So with that full body resistance based workout, we have a tricep extension with a squat added in for a little bit of lower body and upper body combo movement utilizing a dumbbell or a kettlebell if you have it. Uh, we have a bent over row, alternating bent over rows with our dumbbell. So uh, think about that core engagement. Uh, we also have a reverse lunge to a lateral raise at the bottom of our reverse lunge position utilizing dumbbells again. And last but not least, we're activating our core with a feet plank twist. All right, team, uh, since I do have Sergeant Barry here, we're gonna have some fun with this one and do five reps while partnering. Again, this, this is gonna be our resistance-based workout for today. The timing as well is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those total rounds. All right, team? So this is gonna be the overall view of today's workout. Um, so with that, if you have any dumbbells, if you have a kettlebell, that kind of that works out well for you as well. Uh, but again, uh, resistance-based training is what we're focusing on for today. So we're really going to focus on honing in on specific muscle groups that we lift uh, throughout the workout team. Okay. Again, get settled in. Grab your towel. Grab your water. Uh, I, we, Sergeant Barry and I, will go through and demonstrate each of the four movements that you just saw on the screen for today. That way, you know exactly what we are getting into. Uh, feel free and kind of freestyle and, and, and kind of move your body around. We will jump directly into a dynamic stretching routine, get our bodies warmed up, prepared to work. Then we are off to the races and we will be ready to work team. All right, so with that, um, also a good note here, uh, leave us a note in the comments below. Uh, I know we have our screen up over here, so if you have uh, access to, uh, if you have any questions, if you have any modifications, if you'd just like to say hi to Siren Barry and myself, uh, leave us a note in the comments below, as well as share. Share this workout with your friends, with your family, with your co-workers, uh, your spouses, um, things of that nature, right? Let's help keep each other accountable in moving in a positive direction, utilizing our fitness uh, levels, all right? Julie, welcome to the team here. Welcome to our BFIT live program. And Emily, welcome in as well. Um, so with that, let's jump into some demos for today. So um, let's go into, uh, I'll, I'll go demo one and then two and three and so forth. So we're gonna grab one dumbbell here. All right, team, one dumbbell here because we have a combo movement of a squat to a tricep extension. So we're gonna load up one dumbbell. We're gonna hold our dumbbells at the head. So think about a V formation with your hands. You wanna go ahead and rest on your shoulder first and foremost, and then Elbows open up to the back here, right? So we're just gonna rest that dumbbell on our head as well as on our neck, right? Head and back here. From here, we are gonna find our foot position. A little wider than shoulder width apart is gonna be where our foot placement is gonna be at. It's gonna be the most comfortable here. From here, your toes are flared out just a little bit. 
We're gonna drop down into our low squat position. So keeping our chest up, hips get pushed back, knees track over our toes. We have that nice flat back. Head is looking down to give us the most out of our head position and a spinal alignment. From here, we're gonna drive right back up and at your standing position, we're gonna include a tricep extension, right team? So a tricep extension, engaging our triceps, the back of our arms, reset right back down, back into our squat, into a tricep extension. So nice controlled movements here. Again, name of the game here, nice controlled form, especially with weight. So squat to a tricep extension for movement number one, team. All right, from there, we're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells here. Sergeant Barry's gonna demonstrate a bent over row, all right, utilizing our dumbbells. So, let's go through the marks here. Sergeant Barry, feet shoulder width apart, as always, soft bend at our knees. From here, we're gonna push our hips back, hinging at the hips, so this is the hip hinge movement, just like that. We want that spinal alignment from our neck down towards our spine. From here, we're gonna take our dumbbells and we are gonna row towards our hips. So towards our hinge, towards our pockets. Think about palm to pocket, when we roll, when a nice compact movement, our elbows are at about a 90 degree bend right there at that top position, right? Dumbbells stay close to our bodies, that way it doesn't take a lot out of our back. And so here's a little bit of an additive here. As we go through our sets, we will roll one and two, then we're gonna stand back up to standing position, taking a little bit of pressure out of our lower back, out of that hinge movement, right? So we have 40 seconds of work, row, alternating row one and two, and then standing back up into standing position, you'll feel that engagement in our lower back, our glutes, our hamstrings. So a little bit of additive here into our row, okay? So again, lat engagement here with glute and hamstring engagement with lower back engagement back into standing position, okay? That's gonna be movement number two, all right team? Movement number three, we have a reverse lunge to lateral raise. Now, <laughs> I set myself up here with some 20s. Uh, so feet, shoulder width apart here, right? I'm sorry, feet, we're gonna come to the top of our workout space. From here, we're gonna go back into our reverse lunge. So two parts here. Right knee goes back, right leg goes back. We drop that right knee down into our lateral, or I'm sorry, our reverse lunge. Chest stays up, shoulders rolled back. From here at the bottom of our reverse lunge, we're gonna go into a nice strong lateral raise, right? Arms get pushed out to the left or to the right. Lead with those elbows up. Soft bend at our elbows as well. Coming right back down. And then you're back up to standing position. Driving up through that back toe and up through that front heel. After that, we will alternate left leg and right leg. Left leg goes down. Up into our lateral raise. And then standing right back up to standing position. All right, two for one. Again, we're trying to maximize our time here with lower body and upper body movements. So the most movements we can get at one time. All right, team? Last but not least, we're activating our core here. We are your partners. If you are working out by yourself today, Sergeant Marion and I are your partners, uh, not only for the full four movements, but for this fourth movement as well. So we have feet plank twists. So we're gonna get into a low plank position here, right? Our elbows are stacked underneath our shoulders. We have a nice flat back. Our hips are gonna be square to the floor. It just means they're gonna be facing the floor at all times. From here, we are going to hip dip. So we're gonna move our hips over to the left and to the right. As one person is doing this, like Sergeant Barry is, she's gonna complete five reps there. From there, I am holding my five reps. And after she's done, I'll complete my five feet twists in a plank position. So what's great about this is Sergeant Mary can go really slow and I will have to hold <laughs> my plank position right here, right? Idea being, we're gonna keep our core nice and tight, right? Nice and engaged. Our navel gets pushed back towards our spine, right? So for some really great control and contracting work here, all right team? So feet plank twist is gonna be our movement number four. I feel like we've got our workout in already, but team, let us know <laughs> how you're feeling. Again, great start to our Monday here. We, are in, we enjoy that you are with our BFIT Live program workout. Let's go through some demos, right? Let's go through some dynamic stretching here. So with that team, we have a lot of movements that we're gonna tackle for today. So let's start with a uh, dynamic quad stretch. So we're gonna take our right leg, we are gonna extend it back towards our hips. 
one arm goes up, which is our left arm. If our right leg is back, pushing our hips forward, feeling that stretch in your quad, your hip flexors, some mobility work and shoulder activation in that upward arm, right? That arm that's extending overhead. We'll do each, we're gonna do a few different dynamic stretches. So sit into any of these movements for as long or as short as possible, as short as you would like, right? You can go a little quicker or a little slower than Sergeant Barry and I. Oops. There and we go. Balance, <laughs> good, so a good core contraction can help with balance as well. All right, team, finishing out here, we'll do each of these again for about 30 seconds. All right, as we come out of that one, we're gonna really widen our stance here. We're gonna go lateral, um, shifting our weight laterally to the left and to the right with some lateral lunges here. So with this, again, shifting our weight to the left and to the right, so we're gonna shift our weight over to the right and or left, keeping our chest up, our heads looking straight ahead here. Nice wide stance here, nothing too aggressive, but you'll feel our stretch in the inside of our thighs. Get some blood flow going to our lower bodies, our glutes, our hamstrings. Again, really just opening up our hips here. So, and kind of double the time here to the left and to the right. Mm hmm Good, again, really warming up our bodies, our hips. If we've been seated for, a, seated for a long period of time here, this is a great time to really open up our hips and think about that as well. All right, team. All right, let's move on to the next one with the reverse lunge with an overhead reach. So we do have some reverse lunge work here. So we're gonna to come to the top of our workout space. We're gonna take that right leg, we are gonna extend it back. That right arm goes up and reaches over to our left. Look at that, look like sequence. There you go, standing back up to standing position, resetting, left leg goes back, down into your reverse lunge, left arm goes up and reaches over, feeling that stretch in your lat with that overhead reach. Now again, you can go as fast or sit in this movement as slow as you need. There you go. Again, trying to wake up our bodies here, telling our bodies that we're getting ready to work. I know. It knows. <laughs> it, <laughs> it knows, Sergeant Bear says, it knows. It knows, and the temperature, someone turn the temperature down in here. All right, team. Um, last but not least, some little bit of upper body movement here. So let's go with arm circles here. Right side first, nice big arm circles. Again, we have shoulder mobility work here. So right forward and right back. Send it back with nice wide circles here. All right, team. Left arm forward. Nice control here. Again, nice deep breaths in as well helps. And exhale. And we'll go back here to finish this out. Good job, team. Finishing out here in three, two, one. All right, team. Grab your towel, grab your water, find your space. Let's get ready to work, team. All right, as a reminder, movement number one, a tricep extension with an added squat. Movement number two is gonna be our bent over row, back to standing with the bent over row, alternating bent over rows. Movement number three is gonna be our reverse lunge with a lateral raise at the, at the bottom of the movement, correct. And movement number four is gonna be our plank twist, right? Hip dips, if you will, out of a plank, low plank position. All right, team? Well, Marilyn, good to see you, good to see you. Patrick, keep on keeping on, I like that. Sounds like a song to me. Uh, it might be. <laughs> All right, team. Well, again, tricep extension with a squat coming up. Let's um, go ahead and grab that one dumbbell that we're gonna need for that tricep extension with a, with a squat. Be mindful of what we can lift overhead, right? What we can squat may be a little bit more than what we can lift overhead. Uh, so be mindful of that as well. All right, team? We are up in eight seconds, team. Finding our one dumbbell. Up in five, Todd. Three, two, one, and we are off. All right, team. Again, down into our low squat position. Out of that, into our overhead extension, right? So feet a little wider than shoulder width apart can help since we have our arms locked in overhead. Controlling our weight, 
and our bodies on the way up and on the way down. Nice controlled movements, once again, is the name of the game for today. And don't be scared of a slow tempo. A little bit of time under tension here can really go a long way forcing our bodies to move in a controlled move. All right, last three, two, one. All right, team, take that 20 seconds to recover here. Grab one more dumbbell because we have a bent over row. 10 seconds here, team. All right, time ready. Looks like we're ready here. <laughs> All right, team, feet shoulder width apart. Push those hips back. Dumbbells about shin level. We're gonna row one and two and come back up to standing position. Resetting, right back down. Again, your dumbbell alternating row. Pushing our hips back. Our head is looking down as well at the floor with our row. And as a reminder, we are gonna row to our pocket, right? We wanna pull those dumbbells towards our pocket rather than towards our chest. Last 10 seconds here. Good, push those hips back. Finish this out for the last three, two, one. Recover, good job. All right, perfect time. <laughs> All right, team. Reverse lunge to our lateral raise. A little two for one here. All right, team, here we go. Top of your workout space here, going back into our reverse lunge, dropping that rear knee down, lateral raise, and then you're right back up to standing position, re-engage, dropping that rear knee down. Good. Keeping our chest up as well. We go a long way. We don't want you to face the floor here. Especially with the lateral raise. Good. Work through it here. There we go. Last five seconds, team. Out in three, two, be fit nation. And recover. <laughs> Ah, yes, yes. Finishing out that full time, that full duration, getting that maximum rep. Even that last rep is going to be the toughest here. All right, team. Feet, feet plank with twists, right? Feet plank with twists. Feet plank with twists. We are up in two. We are up in one. Sorry, everybody, get a star stop here. I'm holding my plank. Sorry, everybody has those five reps. Five. <laughs> All right. With the slow count. Um, so most importantly here, four, five. Now I'm holding my low plank here. Two for one here. So with our hip dips, we're really thinking about engaging our obliques, the side of our abdominals. And with that low plank hold, we get to really hone in and isolate the front, our core, our trunk here. And time. Look at that. <laughs> Those fly by. <laughs> Alright team, standing back up nice and tall here. Good work. This is where we get 60 seconds here to rest, recover, hydrate, anything that you need here. Now's a great time not only hydrate, but really think about where we are today with our bodies, right? Think about how we can move a little bit more freely, where we can scale up, where we can increase our tempo to really challenge ourselves into the next round or the next three additional rounds. If you're new to the channel, if you're new to the, just tuning in right now, we are in our second round here, about 20 seconds here, about to start our second round of four different resistance-based movements, right? We're really focused on specific targeted muscle groups for today's BeFit Live workout. Again, leave us down in the comments below. We have one dumbbell here for our squat to overhead press. I'm sorry, squat to extension here. Coming up in two, one. All right, team, we are working here. Driving up, extending overhead. Nice controlled movements once again. Down into our deep squat. Since our arms are locked in overhead, think about going into a little bit wider of a foot stance than you may normally do into a squat position. So a little wider than shoulder width apart. Can help with mobility, can help with range of motion as you push your hips back, driving up into your tricep extension. Nice deep breath in. 
on the way down, exhaling as you finish out that last rep there. Good job, team. <laughs> All right, attacking our back here with our bent over row back to standing position. Five seconds here. We have dumbbells, you can utilize kettlebells. If you don't have any kettlebells, make that nice strong fist here. Accentuate that pod at the very top. Coming right back up. Again, two for one here. Lat activation, core activation. Glutes are engaged, hamstrings are engaged into that hinge position. Dropping down here. One row, two row. Row number here. Good. Again, you can see Sergeant Barry has nice control of form here, nice control of movements. That really slowed down, slows down our pace, and we can read our really read our body, right? Where our weakest link may be, and we can try to hone in and fix it. All right, team, 20 seconds to recover here. Woo. All right, so we're up top here. Reverse lunge with the lateral raise. All right, team. Find our two. We're up in two. One. All right, team. Reverse lunge it back. Dropping our rear knee down. Good. All right, Beat Fit Nation. Round two. How are we doing out there? Let us know what that 60 second of work, of break, actually. <laughs> Good. 13 seconds here. Again, keep working. Keep pushing through. Keep that chest up, shoulders rolled back. Lead with those elbows out into that lateral raise. And time. Good job. Snuck that one in. Yeah, it's a good extra, extra credit. It's a good extra credit right there. <laughs> we don't mind extra credit here on our B-Fit lot. We encourage it. Five seconds here, attacking our core here. I'll start this time. How about my five? My five hip dips here, feet shoulder width apart. All right. Three, four, five. I'm back to my plank hold. One, two, three, four. There it is. Five. <laughs> Slow count. Four and five for me. Last 10 seconds here. Keep it up, BFit Nation. Hold that plank. Finish this out here. Roy has the last five. And time. Good work. All right, that one deserves it. That's a team effort right there. <laughs> All right, team, coming up close here. Catching our breath here again. Hydrate if we need. Stay hydrated here. Again, with you, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montez. We're here with CMS Sergeant Sonia Berry as well. We're putting in the work today, really focusing on our strength movements. Again, if you have any mods that you'd like to see, uh, there's definitely some mods that we can include within these workouts. If we need to um, remove the overhead extension out of our squat, let's go ahead and hold our weight up front in front of us into a goblet style of a dumbbell into our squat. So removing that overhead can really help if you have any mobility hinges or impingements. Seven seconds here, Marilyn, hello, welcome in. Tricep extension with the squat coming up. In two, one. All right, team, here we go. Round three. Good. Again, nice control. Finding our pace, finding our tempo, round three. Let's try and progress up in our tempo, increase our tempo, increase our weight. Again, working with our strength, working with our dumbbells, working with targeted muscle groups here. Each BFIT Live workout is different. Today we're honing in our, on our resistance training. Last movement here, last rep and time. Good job. <laughs> All right, we have two rounds under our belt. Working on our third here. <laughs> All right, team, seven seconds here. Bent over row, alternating bent over row here. 
Remember to push those hips back, chest comes down, head looks down, and drive back up to standing, engaging our hips, engaging our hamstrings, our glutes, our lower back, keeping our dumbbells close to us. There we go. Good. Nice strong pulls. Remember to pull to our pocket, our hands to our hinge. Good. Last five here. Finish this out wherever we may be. Two, one, and time. Good job. Recover here. Recover, recover. Woo. All right, team. Reverse lunge, lateral raise. Five seconds. Standing up nice and tall. In front of your workout space here. Two, one. All right. Dropping that rear knee down. Good. Good. Again, feet shoulder width apart as well. Think about not only your foot placement at standing shoulder width apart, but also when you go back into your reverse lunge, that rear leg, that rear foot should be at shoulder width apart as well. Right? Giving yourself the most ability, yeah. the most solid foundation. Set yourself up for success there. Good. Out in seven, team. Stay with us. Last three, two, finishing with a smile. <laughs> All right, team, good job. <laughs> Woo. All, right. All right, back to our core activated movement here, team. Back to our core activated movement. We were on the floor here. All right, Sergeant Barry's gonna start us off with our five count. All right, let's do All right low plank position. All right, here's my five. Again, with our hips dipping, we're engaging our obliques and five. Feet close together, shoulder width apart. Five. Your preference here, since we are twisting, we wanna keep our back nice and straight. Last 10 seconds, finish this out. All right, finishing it out here. Two, one, and time. Good work. Pulling ourselves off the floor here on that third and final round. Third round, actually, not final round. Excuse me. <laughs> but speaking of final round, we have one more round to go here, team. One more round to go here, so let us know, B-Fit Nation. This is gonna be our last round, which is gonna make it our best round. Right, sorry, Barry. That is right. <laughs> Last round, best round, is what we like to say here, B-Fit Nation. So again, push through, think about where you are, think about gauging ourselves, challenge yourself, but most importantly, have fun with it, right? This is what we're about here. Pushing ourselves, challenging ourselves, but have fun with it here. So finish out our time, finish out our 40 seconds of work, and we'll get into it. All right, team? So tricep extension with our squat coming up in less than 10. All right, team, set ourselves up. We are ready to go, 40 on the clock. Last and final round here. Whew. Nice deep breath on the way down. Driving up through our heels into our squat. Back to standing, tricep extension. Whew. Good, keeping our chest up as well when we go down to our squat. Try not to face the floor here. Good. Last 10 seconds. Out in five, team. Finish it out with us. Sergeant Barry, last three seconds here. Last one. One more rep. All right. <laughs> that was bonus work. <laughs> we gotta make it your best round. Right? That's, that's right. We gotta have to make it our best round. Finishing out off. 40 seconds of work here. Trying to make the most of our time here. We are up in two, one. All right, team. Nice strong movements here. Maybe this round we're picking up our pace, picking up our tempo just a little bit more. Good. Pushing those hips back once again, pushing the hips back. Gauging our core, 
Sucking that navel in towards our spine. Good. Really think about that mind to muscle connection. Our body's moving, our body's activated. Out in five seconds, team. Last two. Right back up. Good job. Good job. Way to finish that one here. Dropping our weight. Reverse lunge to overhead press. Um, five seconds. All right, team. We're looking good. We're feeling good. All right. Find that last a bit of strength effort that you have. Continue to push through every rep. I know it's tough. I know it can be challenging. Good. 20 seconds here, team. There we are. Out in 13. Drop that rear knee down. Good. Out in five. Last three, two, finish on our rep here. I did. <laughs> Good job, team. Good job. I was Try rooting to... for you. Sorry, I'm very dizzy. <laughs> All right, team. Last but not least, our core activated movement here. We're going to get down on the floor here. We're going to work the full 40 seconds of work here. All right. And we're up here, team. I got my five here first. Hold that plank. There we are. I'm holding. Again, hips, shoulder width apart here. Square at the floor when you're holding. All right. Usually we do not want you to dip your hips, but for this instance, nice controlled movements. Five now. Good. Push back into those heels to engage our lower body. Less than five. Out in three, two, one. <laughs> and a little bit of fun there. <laughs> Just trying to catch up. <laughs> Good job, B Fit Nation. Good work today. A round of applause. Good job. Good work here. Again, B Fit Nation. Good work. This was our strength resistance program here, right? We really focus on time under tension. We focus on controlling our form, focusing on dialing in just each and every rep here, right? Making the most out of each rep. Since we're so uh, construct limited in our time, right? We wanna make the most of our opportunities here, get in a full body workout and just under 20 minutes of work. So it doesn't take a lot of time to really challenge you to really focus on our full body workout, doesn't it, everybody? No, not at all. <laughs> I'm still trying to catch my breath. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. And, and so it's, that's, that's, that's what it's about. It's, it's, utilizing and maximizing the most of our time that we have available, whether it's short amount of windows, whether you're at the office or uh, if you're available at home or if you're on the road, uh, maximizing our time. We may not have the most amount of time, but if we, can set aside, if we can set aside 20 minutes or 30 minutes of our time, of our window, then that's what it's about. It's about you know really using our window to the most of our abilities here, team. So uh, again, BFIT Nation, great work, great work, great work today. Uh, with, with that, with that catching our breath here, yeah. how are we feeling after today's workout? I'm good. I have an idea. <laughs> so whenever we do our high fives, yes. then we turn the audience. Ah, okay. Uh, how about we, we run to that, okay? So high five, and then we're going to high five the audience. Right. Yeah. High five here, right. audience. High five right there. <laughs> and if that's lame, tell us in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I, no, I, I, think, I think that's great because uh, here it is. Here it is, BFIT Nation. We're, we're one team here. We're one fight, one goal. We're, we're looking to really activate and push our bodies each and every week, right, team? BFIT Nation, we are BFIT Nation for a reason. And building that community, building that progress and trying to achieve our goals, whatever it may be, each and every week, that's what it's all about here, right? That's what it's all about. So with that, with the team effort, the, the, the teamwork, and, and building that community, the exchange is here for you. The exchange is here for you to support your lifestyle goals, your active goals, your fitness goals, running goals, yoga goals, whatever it may be, team. So visit our store. Visit our store in-store or online, right? We have things that you may need to help keep yourself in that 
uh, active lifestyle, right? Movement of a lifestyle. I mean, it doesn't have to be uh, fitness related or, or workout wise, but that movement lifestyle, every body is different. So the exchange is here to support you and whatever your goals may be. Visit us again in store or online at shopmyexchange.com is where you can find us online team. We have a lot of different um, articles and, and pieces of information for you. If you go to our hub at shopmyexchange.com forward slash bfit, all of our extended catalog is available to you there as well as nutrition, nutrition uh, advice and, and uh, things that our exchange restaurants have for you as well. More than 1600 exchange restaurants are available to you, available to you at our installations that you can surf through the menus and search for better for you options, as well as wellness services uh, that we have inside of our mall areas, right? Um, you know, movement, health, and wellness doesn't always come from, from strength building, but also from the inside out uh, with our wellness service as well. Think about chiro chiropractic care or cryotherapy for that recovery uh, stimulant, um, as well as our Express. Our Express has healthier choices items. You can look for this tag right there on screen. Look for that shelf tag where we take the guesswork out of uh, more than 450 items, more than 400 items uh, for you there. That takes the guesswork out of smart snacking options. So uh, again, our express stores are there to help you uh, sustain a healthier lifestyle with that. So uh, all that with our BeFit programs and this being our BeFit live program workout. How are we feeling today? Are we feeling good? Feeling <laughs> I'm feeling good. I think I'm going to go check the shelf for some healthier choices as soon as we're done here. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and I think, I think, Ajuni, I think uh, we need to recover and replenish the calories that we've expended for today. So um, with that, BFit Nation, um, again, great work today. Uh, leave us a note in the comments below. Let us know how you like today's workout. Let us know uh, where you came and watched from. So um, again, uh, share this video. Uh, Facebook has all of our uh, previous BFit Live catalog workouts as well. So hit us up on our Facebook playlist, BFit Live, BFit playlist as well. Um, but with that team, uh, great work today. Again, way to start off our March BFit Live program workouts. Uh, moving forward, next week will be a little bit different of a hybrid style of workout. So you'll get more cardio based moves, a little bit more of a heart elevated uh, workout for you today, but still with some strength building, uh, strength building movements. So. A hybrid for next week and then the following week we'll look at some cardio based movements only so uh, with that team uh, stay with us and we'll see you again next monday at 11 a.m central standard time all right team be fit ambassador run month is and sorry barry we will see you next week